This is Roger Schultz and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In this video we're going to learn how to update the R2's firmware using the web user interface. In order to do this we're going to uh, first download the latest firmware edition. We're then going to connect the R2 using the Wi-Fi connection we're going to access the web user interface using the IP address listed below 192.168.142.1. We're then going to log in using the login of admin and the uh, password of password, all lowercase. We're then going to navigate to the firmware update and update the firmware accordingly. Just a note, the web UI can be accessed using most web browsers on most operating systems, including Windows, Windows Mobile, Android, and iOS. To access the download to the latest firmware, we will be using Frontier Precision's MGIS support page at www.fpimapping.com. I'm then going to scroll down and click on Hardware, Other, and then Trimble and then scroll down to the R2 GNSS receiver. I will scroll down and click on Firmware Downloads to access Trimble's download page. I'm then going to download the TIMG file and use this for my firmware update. I want to save it in a good location. In this case, I'm going to save it in my software downloads so I can access it later. The next thing I want to do is turn on my R2. Once my R2 is turned on, I can then connect to it using the wireless connection manager on my computer this will establish a limited connection. I then will access the web UI by going to the following IP address 192.168.142.1 and log in using admin as the username and password as the password all lowercase. You have now successfully accessed the web UI. We will then navigate to the Firmware tab in the left and choose a new file. The file that we will select is that TIMG file that we previously downloaded. So I'll navigate to my desktop and my software downloads where I stored it. Once it's selected, hit Open and then Install New Firmware. Click OK on the, on the pop-up. This will take a little while, and I've sped up the video. But just go ahead and let the R2 run its process. And then once it's done, the R2 will automatically restart. Once the R2 is back on, go ahead and reestablish the connection with the computer using the Wi-Fi like we did previously. And then re-log back in to the web UI. Once you are re-logged in, go back to the firmware and just confirm that the firmware itself has updated and is at the latest version. This then concludes our video on how to access the web UI and update the firmware on the R2. We hope you have found this video useful and will join us again next time for another Tech Talk. Thank you.